uh-oh, I don't have this DU and there's no way I can squeeze it out of here. So that's not gonna work. Uh, then next option, if U is tangent theta, okay, I got one of those, DU is secant squared theta, no. No, I can't make that happen with one tangent and one secant left over. Uh, so that won't work either. So what do you do? Not cry. No, you go, okay, I still have one more trick up my sleeve. I can rewrite tangent squared theta as secant squared theta minus one. And usually that will save the day. So then distribute now this secant that's sitting outside and we'll have integral secant cubed theta minus secant theta d theta. Okay, here's the exciting part. The antiderivative of secant cubed theta, if you don't have it memorized, it's gonna be one of those ones that boomerangs. You have to do integration by parts once, and then you use your Pythagorean identity to get it to boomerang. If you've never seen it before, I recommend you watch where I derive it in my lecture video. I'll link that lecture video in the description, okay?